fellow baseball fans, and welcome. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Seattle Mariners and the Los Angeles Angels. John Shambi on play-by-play. -play. Chris Singleton and providing the color. Cool. And Singy the big bat in the lineup so far this year. Mike Trout leads the team at OPS. So he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks. He'll barrel up the baseball. He'll hit the ball in the gap. So he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now. And he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. Just about set to go now. And towing the slab, Jonathan Diaz. What should we keep an eye on here? Yeah, he's definitely had a struggle so far this year, as evidenced by that inflated whip. But he's going to have to that find a hurt. way to the limit the base track. runners, Marco. put his team in a position Mendoza. to win a ball game. So we know he's prepared. We know this guy is a competitor. And we'll watch how he works in this one. Marco Mendoza in the box here. Let's that one go for a ball. Next offering is in for a strike. Arroyo at first, one gone. To short, could be two. Fletcher over to second, double play. What a twin killing day. Base is full, two gone. Luis Renjifo gets a chance to hit here. Right-hander kicks, deals. On the ground to short, Mendoza. They take the force out. They limit the damage here. So they get one, but end up leaving the bases loaded. Second inning coming up from Anaheim. It's the Angels one and the Mariners nothing. So in now for the Angels, Mike Antico. Mike Antico. On the ground, Mendoza. On the run, sends it over to first. Two away. Now batting, shortstop, David Fletcher. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. 0 for 1 Marco so far. Mendoza. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A two-run shot, his 68th homer of the year. And it gives them the lead in the third. It's 4-3. Well, he went up there, oh, oh, looking to do damage. I think he had his sight set on that pitch. He went and got it and circled the bases. Anthony Rendon batter, making his three. way to the plate. He's, He's already homered in this game. Anthony Rendon. Ground ball left side. That takes care of Rendon. The center fielder, number 27, Mike. And welcome back. All right, we go to the top half of inning number six. And now for Seattle, Marco Mendoza. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And a foul ball. Mendoza, in his third season, only 20 years old. And he took home the silver slugger last year in the American League. Swing, and that one hammered. Down the line. If it's fair, it's gone. And that is out of here. His second home run of the game. And the Mariners have the lead. It's 5-4. Now he's just showing off out there. And who can blame him with a swing like that? Give that man a bat. Watch it go a long way. Breaking ball on the inside part of the play requires a hitter to stay really square with his mechanics. If you fly open with the front shoulder, there's no way you keep that ball fair. An outstanding job mechanically. He deserves that home run. One out, base is empty. 
Mike Antico, the next to hit for the Angels. Struck out on just three pitches last time. Out to short. Mendoza. Slings to first. Just got him. And he was burning up the baseline. Talk about being right able right to right. dial up the velocity. That first baseman over there Marshall. might need a little... The batter. the batter will be the shortstop Marco Mendoza he's got a couple homers already so can he possibly do it again come on man of course he can those two he hit were legit and he looks pretty locked in right now if he did And that's in there for strike one. Well, the game plan for this offense has been pretty clear. They're being aggressive at the plate, but still falling into the habit of being over-aggressive. So far, they're up to eight hits on pitches early in the count, so that tells me they're feeding off each other, communicating, giving an idea of what that pitcher's trying to do on the mound. They're seeing the ball really well. Next pitch is outside. The next pitch misses, and it's three and two. Hey, let's go, kid. Here we go. And there's ball four. Now and now it's Julio Rodriguez. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Antico pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder oh, coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. Hey, see you to rip it up there. Hit hard. Should be extra bases. Arroyo headed on, for the plate. On, you're scoring, you're scoring, One run on. across. Another scores. Two runs in on the play, and it's now a six-run lead. Gets the job done as he brings home a pair. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make them pay. Now it's the shortstop, Marco Mendoza. Marco Mendoza. Pitch misses there, 1-0. Oh. Ball one, no strike. Good eye right there. He's been raking in recent games, and a big reason why getting ahead in counts. He's been able to do that consistently, and you see the results. Two oh. This one high in the air to left center. Trout settles under it. And he makes the catch. And there's two down. Now batter, the center fielder, Julio Rodriguez. Here's David Fletcher. You talk about elite defensive players, especially in the middle Fletcher. of the diamond, and this guy is at the top of the list. Swing and a bouncer. To first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but... First and second, two down. And next for L.A., Brandon Drury. The 0-1. Bounce one, one. to the left side. In plenty of time to first. And that is the third out of the inning. So it's two runs on four hits. No errors and a couple left on. Ninth inning.
Luis Rangifo, the next to hit for the Angels. Really good piece of hitting last time going to the opposite field. Ground ball could be two. Mendoza to second for one. Throw to first, safe. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. Well, a big win by eight runs, and when you have that kind of lead, you make it easier for the pitching staff to come out, make their pitches, pitch to contact, and not worry about giving up the lead. So nice job today all the way around to get the W. 14-6, the final score. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon. Time of the ball game, four hours and 18 minutes. And welcome into the ballpark. Happy to have you with us. An AL West matchup on the show. It's the Seattle Mariners and the Los Angeles Angels. First pitch coming at you right after the break. And now, your 2025 Los Angeles Angels. Just about ready to roll. Getting the nod in this one. Patrick Sandoval singing he's managed to rack up a lot of innings on the mound this season and boom this guy's getting close to 200 innings on the year you know there's some milestones that pitchers go after one of them 20 wins but another one that we don't talk about a whole lot is that, that is 200 perfect. inning threshold so. to be able to surpass that says that hey they prepared themselves for the season they were able to stay healthy and they were able to pitch effectively enough to stay in ball games long enough to reach that number pretty impressive on what he's done and it's not over yet Marco Mendoza in the box now take strike one first and second here no outs out towards right center field Soler getting an angle on it Squeezes it. Runner tags it second to third. Not in time. And it's runners at the corners with one gone. One down. Taylor Ward no digs in field. now. He's coming Taylor. off a three-hit game in Sunday's series Whoa. finale. Fletcher stands at first with one out. Bounce to the right side. Arroyo to second. Batting four. Tough play right there. Didn't the really have enough time to set his feet Brandon. and make a strong, accurate throw. Glory. Had to rush it, but he got it off, and he got it there in time to get that out at second base. And now the shortstop, the Marco Mendoza. Short Hit it well, but flied Marco. out to the deepest part of the Mendoza. outfield his first time. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but... When he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Lined, and that's a base hit. Lead runner makes the turn at second. Throw comes in. Runner stopped. Second and third. Nobody out. And he's got a double. First pitch swing in. Went up there with a the plan to be aggressive. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it. And then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Drove in a run with a sack fly his first time up. Ground ball right side. Tosses to first. That's out number one. And a run comes in to score. The left fielder, number 99. Alex. Here's Alex Verdugo. The walk and a run scored his first time. Oh and two now. A swing and a ball popped up. Fletcher calls it in, and there's two away. And here is Michael Conforto. He walked and came around to score his first time up.
And a weak ground ball to the left side. Guillaume on the run. Throw to first. And that is that. One run, one hit, one error. And one. And up next for Seattle, Marco Mendoza. One for two. Singing, you can't ask for anything more. This guy checks all the boxes offensively. He's the ultimate professional, and it doesn't just start at game time. It starts in the afternoon, the way he prepares and gets ready for the ball game. I tell you what, his teammates feed off of the leadership that he shows on and off the field. Get your pitch on. The old one. Foul ball. Moore at second. Arroyo at first. Two out of the inning. Next offering is foul back. Have you ever caught a foul ball as a fan? Only as a broadcaster, not as a fan. You? I've never been in many games as a fan. Here comes a pitch. Now one missed. Clearly, he hasn't had it in this game, and looks like sooner than later, they're going to have to go to the bullpen. Kicks and fires. And another ball. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. Next pitch is outside. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Reese Hoskins waiting for a turn at the plate. First and second, two down. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. So close to getting out of it right there, but this inning still has life. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. He's 0 for 1. Well, the way these two teams have battled in this game, you know you need more. Got to continue to add runs if you're going to get out of here with a win. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. Knocks it down. Moore comes across. Well, he was a little off balance. He got the front foot down, but was so great at keeping the hands back and allowed him still to get good wood to this baseball. Big one there as he drives in a couple of runs. So digging in, Alex Verdugo. Alex Verdugo. Hey, come on now, big dog. Get your pick. And he grounds one to the right side. That's a base hit as a run scores. Comes through with the RBI. Didn't make quality contact on the ground ball to the pull side, but sometimes it's just a matter of finding the hole in the defense. Back in Anaheim, ready to go for the last half of the inning. At the play, Brandon Drury. Brandon. Rory. Gilbert back to work. What Out to man? short. Throws across oh. the diamond. And a quick out number one. Now batting the designated hitter, Anthony Rendon. Now it's Anthony Rendon. On the ground, out to short. Zips it across. That takes care of Rendon. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. That's inside, and it's one to know. Well, these Mariners, simply put, are producing a lot of quality swings. We've heard lots of loud noise coming from their bats in this one, haven't we? I mean, they've launched six hits at 90-plus exit velocity, and that doesn't happen by accident. Off the mark there. Three balls, no strikes. Good plate appearance there. Able to take the walk. Definitely lost the handle during that sequence. Four pitches the for the walk, and 17. that last one didn't Reese. even threaten the zone. Catcher might want to go talk to him. And yeah, the batter now, Reese Hoskins. 
A chance for more damage right here. A couple of RBIs for him in his last A-B. Hacks and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, he didn't get the call on the mound the pitch before. Felt like he should have had him looking, I think. But, you know, that's good composure right there. He found a way to come back with another good pitch to get him to swing and miss. Swing and a miss struck him out. Just a mid-90s challenge fastball right there. Not much to it. And I'm sure he'd love another swing at it because it was in a very hittable location. Those are the swings where you can sometimes start to question yourself as a hitter and say, how did I miss that? But, you know, it happens. Michael Conforto will climb in. I need you right here one time. Arroyo, the lead runner at second. Mendoza on at first with two down. Oh, he gloves it, fires the first, and they get the out. Well, that's cat-like reflexes over there at the hot corner. Nice job of making that play and ending the inning. Here's Luis number Guillaume. Baseman, He's already three. homered here in this one. Luis. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics can drop off. And we know they need him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Mendoza. Good feed. That's one. Not in time at first. It's a fielder's choice. Well, an aggressive slide right there at second base, but that's a legal slide. I like that because you're trying to do whatever you can to break up the double play, and it looked like it had an effect on that throw just a little bit. Here's the shortstop at the play. Marco Mendoza. Well, in their win last game, this guy came up with two home runs, obviously trying to keep the roll going here in this one. And first offering is fouled off. The 0 one is outside, and it's a ball and a strike. No, oh, he's really working him away, this at bat. Sometimes take a little bit off velocity. Try to get a rollover, something on the ground. Stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield. Foul ball still a one and two count. Good job, John. In right here. Here you go. Next pitch is popped up. Ohapi drifts towards it. Hauls it in for the out. The first base Here's David Fletcher. Bounced out to short, Mendoza. The throw to first, Fletcher retired. And the inning is over. Angels strand a couple. They're unable to make a dent in an 8-4 deficit. Sometimes road trips can be tough. You're away from your family, but when you can win, silence that opposing crowd. It makes things just a little bit better. It makes the road trip just a little bit shorter. Our final line and our final here today, 8-4 for Chris Hunter. Single, MLB The no Show. Thanks for stopping by. Live from Gene Autry Way, welcome to Angel Stadium. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Seattle Mariners and the Los Angeles Angels. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Marco Mendoza. Enters the day among the league leaders in batting average, but he'll need to get hot if he hopes to win the title. That one misses, and that's ball one. Next offering is fouled back. The pitch ripped on the ground a second and that is that for Seattle 
two outs nobody on here's Mike Trout ninth in the American League in batting average out to short slings it across and that'll do it Angels held in check we played an inning no score Brandon Drury to the plate collected three hits in the loss yesterday 2-2 two -two now hard ground ball base now and they're happy to play station to station right here bases loaded nobody out he was all over that one. got the top of the ball a little bit but not much that was hit pretty hard through the infield so I think he'll be happy with that swing definitely general. so two down here's a speed threat Marco Mendoza he's over one and first offering is fouled off Next offering is fouled back. And the pitch. And one and two. That's a really good job of laying off the 0-2 high fastball. Is going to make that pitcher really have to respect this hitter, even though he's behind in the count. Way inside, gets out of the way. Lace to right center base hit. Make the turn, make the turn. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Well, he thought about two, but he's back to first safely. Dominant performance for him today, Boo. Just two hits allowed so far. No runs across either. And he's had an answer for just about every hitter he's faced. So I don't think this hit is going to knock him off his stride too much. Over to first, and he's saved. So now one and two to Reese. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. They stopped the lead runner at second. Now two on with two outs. Well, that'll make you feel good as a hitter right there. That was a pretty good pitch. Breaking ball down and in. But when it's breaking in towards you, you have a lot of time to see it and just try to get on plane with it. He hit that one pretty well. Two on, two outs. Runners on the move. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted in first base with a quick free pass. Here's Alex Verdugo. One for one with a single so far. Here's a 1-1. On the ground to the left. To second for Guillaume. And that is that. So they... Two outs. Runner on first. Here's David Fletcher, who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. The 0 2. On the ground to short, Mendoza. They get the force. That's the inning. So no runs, no base hits, no errors, and a runner. Base is empty, one away. Now the left fielder, Taylor Ward, 1 for 2. On the ground to third. Stops it on a slide. The throw. On the money. Nice play. Now batting. The third baseman. Anthony. Red go. Man at second with one away. And now the big time power threat, Marco Mendoza. Beautiful swing in his last at bat. Opposite field knock. Singy Reed Detmers, 10th overall pick in the 2020 draft. You're talking about a guy who is a really good player at Louisville, and in his rookie year, he authored a no-hitter. Right, in the air, left play. field. Ward makes the grab, and there's two down. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there, that front shoulder the coming open instead of staying. So now the DH spot, number 94. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. 
Out to short. They take the force out, gets him easily, ends the inning. Back here at the ballpark, Leading stepping in the is the switch hitting shortstop, shortstop. Marco Mendoza. Marco. Mendoza. The pitch. And oh. ball one. Hey, I need you right here one time. Next oh. offering misses. Two and oh. Here we go. And here it comes. And a foul ball makes the count two and one. Hard hit to third. Rendon He's throw out. to first. And they get the leadoff man in the ninth. This one ends the final 9-2. For Chris Singleton and our... Chambi's Hello and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Seattle Mariners and the San Diego Padres. All right, we'll be back to get this one started after this. So almost ready to get underway. And our pitcher tonight, number 60. He touched the ninth inning his last time out. Really wanted the complete game. Didn't get it, but he did get the W. They'd love to see him pitch deep into this one again. We go to the bottom up. of the first. Padres. Here's the veteran shortstop, short Xander style. Bogarts. Xander Bogarts. Ground ball up the middle. Lays out. He's got it to first and that's a great play for the out well this is obviously a tremendous play but for me it starts with a well broken in glove to have the confidence to go down knowing that ball is going to be right in the pocket so you've got a clean transfer pop back up to the feet and fire across the diamond outstanding job and stepping in for the Mariners, Marco Mendoza hoping to lock up a home run title down the stretch he leads the league right now And a pitch. Now fly ball to right center. Powell trots over to his left. Makes the grab on the run. And there's one away. Ooh, he was the all over that first nine. pitch fastball. Just Alec. barely. Stepping in, the slugging shortstop, shortstop, Marco Mendoza. Glide out his first Mendoza. time. <laughs> A little bit high. Ball one. Rudder at first with no outs here. And that's a little high. 2 0 count to a guy with this much pop at the dish. You better expect him to be turning on something. It's going to either get hit hard to the pull side or the fans better look out in the stands. Good hitters count the 2 0. And a breaking ball drops in for a strike. Getting a little frustrated with the strike zone. Two one now. Nope. 
Anderson on at first. Nobody out. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. And ball four to a board. That could jumpstart an offense that's really struggled to score in this one. Don't want to wake a team up with the free pass. Here's Alex Verdugo. 0 for 1. He struck out swinging last time. On the ground, two ball. Slings to second. On to first. Double play. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tough. One down. Here's the second baseman, Ha Sung Kim. He's already homered in this one. Into left center for a base hit. Runner on at first with one gone. The bat Marco Mendoza Short up time. next for the Mariners. Marco. He's 0 for 1. Mendoza. Up the middle. The flip. Kim tossed the second. Throw to first, but he beat it. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Lets the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. Two outs. Runner at first. Next to hit, Alex Verdugo. The 1-2. Runner, runner. runner takes off. Next pitch is popped up. Kim has a beat on it. And that is that. One hit, one left. So two on with two away. And here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. Hit weakly on the ground. Mendoza. Fires to first on the run. And that is the inning. One run in the... Jack Green ready to go. He doesn't get a lot of strikeouts compared to other relievers, so he relies on getting that soft contact and the defense doing the work behind him. They'll have to be on their toes with him on the ball. Now it's the shortstop, Marco Mendoza. The pitch. And that one missing low. Green, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, and he works in a two-seamer. And a 1-0. That's the third, and that's just foul. And now before the one-two, time is called at home plate. Started to go to one two, a check on it to third, and no swing, says James Kingsley. And now the count filled up three and two. Back to work, three two now. That one misses, so a leadoff walk. I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Leading off for the Mariners. Man at first, Alex Verdugo up next for the Mariners. The 2-2. Runner on the goal. To third. Throw over to Cronenworth. Now one gone in the ninth. All season long, he's racked up a number of saves, and sometimes the adrenaline doesn't get high enough until there's a runner or two on base. He's two outs away. Reese Hoskins up next for the Mariners. Runner takes off. Hit on the ground to the right side. Oh, nice play. And very nicely done for the out. Well, he makes a great decision to go ahead and dive to stop that ball. Nice little flip to the pitcher covering. Those are those PFPs, pitchers fielding plays. Runners breaking for the plate. Left field. And that's going to roll to the wall. High bounce takes it over the fence. That's an automatic double. And a run comes in to score. He puts a great swing on that pitch and drives home the run. And that was always going to be a double. But the bounce over the wall just took the guesswork out of it right away. It was a nice swing. The number 90 is a big number. You're talking 90 wins over the course of a big league season. Extremely impressive. These guys have worked hard all year long.
from Petco. So two down, Marco Mendoza getting ready to hit. Right now the leading RBI man in the American oh, he League. Did. He's been huge this season. In there for strike one. Well, if he's going to steal second, you want him to go early in the count. That way he's not a distraction to the hitter at the plate. Go ahead and get it out of the way so the hitter can focus on the pitch. Ground ball right side. He steps on the bag, and that'll do it. Excellent stop right there. He wants to take it himself. Waves the pitcher off and continues to run into the dugout. And now it's Manny Machado. Another solid power season. Not only can he hit the cover off the ball, he's got a great eye as well. One out and a runner at second. Chris Machado is a guy who impacts the game with his bat. He's got big-time power. But what about the defense? He hasn't only won a gold glove, multiple gold gloves, but he's also won a platinum glove as the best defender at any position in his league. Fires over to Hoskins. Machado out of the play. Batting four. The right fielder. Trent. Bottom of the second. Now it's the second baseman, Hassan Kim. Castillo back to work. One, one, one. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. He doesn't have a throw, and they don't get an out on the play. Here's some real power at the plate. Marco Mendoza grounded out his first time. There's a swing and a drive. That's back. He circles the bases. Home run number 70 on the year. It's 3-1. He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Oh, that one got in the jet stream on a line drive. We saw the numbers on the backs of the jerseys of the outfielders, which is usually bad news. And all of a sudden, they're back in this ball game. So digging in no now matter. for Number San Diego, Hassan Kim baseman. reached on an infield Hassan single Kim. his first time. Bounce to the left side. Mendoza. Tosses to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. The batter. The center fielder. We go to the top of the seventh. And now it's the cleanup hitter for the Mariners. Marco Mendoza. Soroka back to work. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike one. Looks like the weather could actually play a factor in this one. It's coming down pretty good. Yeah, it is. And it's not too bad yet, but the field's not going to be able to hold up if the rain gets any worse than this. So keep an eye on the pitcher's mound as well and the rest of the infield start to puddle up a little bit. The wind and the pitch. Got him. That's the first. First out the top of the seventh. Oh, big power guy right now. Marco Mendoza, the next to hit. He's already homered in this game. First offering, and it just misses. Wilson, in his fifth season, 30 years old now, and he was drafted in the eighth round back in 2018. Next pitch is outside. And the right-hander deals. Line drive, and that should be extra bases. Go, go, go. Now he'll turn for second. Oh, the throw is over his head. He's in there. Well, most guys would have a double out of that, but for elite speed like his, that's an automatic double. He's thinking, how do I turn this into a triple? And that's exactly how you do it.
here's Alex Verdugo. Hey, get your pitch, huh? Mendoza stands at third with one gone of the inning. He's going. And the runner's coming home. Hard ground ball, base now. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Just kept it simple. Played Pepper with the middle of the infield and took it back where it came from, and there was just no one there to knock it down. With this win here today, you've won the first two games of this three-game series, so you would think the work is done, but when you're at home, I don't believe so. you got to come back with a mindset for game three that you want to win it, and you're going to go out and do everything that it takes. You win like that at home. You position yourself Coming to you live. Just about set to go now. And starting in this one, Joe Musgrove. What do we have on him? His career ERA has been under four. What I like most about him is his reliability. Takes the ball every fifth day, ready to go whenever the manager calls. And it's through for a hit. Here comes Cronenworth around third. He will score. It's three zip. Well done. Drives in the run. Timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked, but that's a good approach paying off. The pitch. To the right side, Kim. To first. One up, one down. So two away with nobody on. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. Here, third base side, Bogarts under it. He's got it, and that will end the inning. First and second, one out. Marco Mendoza up next for the Mariners. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. At the dish, looking to lift the ball in the air in this spot. Anything but the inning, inning double play, boo. pitch swing and a high fly ball to left Stanton is there puts it away for the out now that Luis Campusano the next up the for the Padres he's all for one tied at four Ground ball left side could be two. One in second. And that's two. They made it look. And now, Marco Mendoza. This guy with light tower power. First offering misses the mark. If you're a base runner, you've got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get into scoring position. The 1 0. Just missed. You don't want to get beat by a fastball in. And he spits on that one. Tap of the zone, and it's called a strike. Next offering is foul back with two strikes may see some movement over there at first base try to stay out of a double play here now all leave it up stays alive these guys like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way but if you're in the stands or you're in a broadcast booth or you're a writer better keep your eye on the game gets a piece and stays alive And it's filled up. At this point in the game, you cannot issue free passes. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready to swing it. Alex Verdugo on deck for the ends. He wanted that fastball high and tight, looking for a strikeout. Just didn't locate it very well. 
kicks and deals. And that's ball four. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. Here's Alex Verdugo. Hey, let's go. Now you got this. And a 1-2 runner on the goal. In the air on the infield. And the infield fly is called. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. Three, two, and that'll load the bases. Now oh, that sets up a really big at bat in this now game. Now. These are the Three, moments two. when everyone in the stadium gets really locked in. Now it's Austin Meadows. You know, this is kind of a tough matchup as a left-handed hitter facing a left-handed pitcher. And what you tell yourself is, I want to stay square to the plate, try to hit the ball over the shortstop's head. Line drive, base hit. One runs in. The second run scores. And it's 6-5. Well, a big swing of the bat right there. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. One down. So now it's the Mariner cleanup hitter, Marco Mendoza. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. First pitch just misses. Wilson, in his fifth season, he features a four seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. And that's a two bagger. Seems now like he got exactly what he was looking for right there. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Alex Verdugo will hit next. Rudder breaks for third. Swing and a ball lifted left field. And there's two away. And the batter now, now batter. is Reese Hoskins. One for two. Reese. Hoskins. Hey, drive him in. We need you right here. Now a screamer into the outfield. Go, go, That's go. a base hit. Mendoza rounds third, headed for the plate. He'll score, and they take a two-run lead. Picks himself up an RBI. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Here's Manny Machado. He's a guy who does it all with the lack of contact in today's game. This guy hits for contact, so he delivers average, but there's on base and slugging, too. And the 0 1. Swing and a ball hit out towards left center field. Mendoza snags it for the second out. Up next for the Padres, the right fielder. Well, a real nice performance out of the pen. This guy is not the one who usually gets the final out, but extended his role a little bit and helped his team get the win. He got the save. For Chris Singleton. And